potential to cause some serious damage. For tonight's Big Picture Report on protecting waterways, NTV's Annie Andrews joins us now live in Grand Island with more. Annie, what type of invaders are we talking about here? Well, we've got the white perch, the common and big head carp. You've probably seen them, caught them, even eat them. Let's just hope you didn't spread them around. Extra work to do the right thing. But it's so worth it. And the primary soldiers to fight this battle against invasive species is us. As Chief Stover puts on his armor, he says fighting invasive species comes down to two things. Two guys. We want to have beautiful water that's healthy and thriving, that has vital fish populations, and, uh, and, and that's a big deal. But also, this is our drinking water, and we want to take care of our drinking water, too. The million-dollar problems? Common carp. They, they jeopardize our water quality for some of our other, more desirable sport fish. The little nest rating monster, also known as the white perch. The problem with them is they overpopulate and then they stunt, and so you get a lake that's full of white perch and nothing else. And the big head carp, which can hit 80 pounds and jump four feet. Imagine flying along in your boat 30, 40 miles an hour and getting hit in the head by a bowling ball. That's why these guys are a problem. But now that they are here, there's no eradicating them, says Stouffer. But we can keep our lakes safe. Here's the number one thing people need to know. Don't spread them around. That means don't throw your bait in the lake and don't catch fish in one lake and release them in another. Bucket biologists are hurting Nebraska water, says Stouffer. And Tim Harris hears the complaint. We get that a lot. I mean, uh, this year I think a little, the weather has a lot to do with it, but uh, fishing's been tough all the way around, and, and that can be a part of it, you know, the, the effect the carp have on it and some of the other fish. Harris says clients come in looking for advice on how to avoid carp and catch walleye. He says it might get to a point where anglers go elsewhere. I don't know that we've seen that much of a hit from it yet, but I'm sure eventually it could, uh, it could become a problem for us. Stouffer says the threat is imminent, and there's only one group to blame. We can't blame anybody else for this problem. We're either the problem or the solution, and I encourage everybody to be the solution. Our waters need not just sportsmen, but stewards. Colleen, milfoil, and zebra mussels are threats, too. If you remember from six, clean, dry, and inspect your boots, boats, and waders before going from lake to lake. Yeah, I remember you talking about that at six o'clock. But is hot, high-pressure water the only cleaner? Actually, Colleen, there's one other thing, and you can get it at the grocery store. Formula 409 with degreaser. Another use for Formula 409. All right, Annie reporting live from Grand Island. Thank you. If I had half the enthusiasm. I love that guy. guy. Stomper there. He's Man. awesome.